Hey, I'm Doug Meyer. I am the co-owner of Tactical Brewing Company, CEO, and a glorified janitor. <laughs> so I'm Chris. I'm a co-founder, COO, and head brewer of Tactical Brewing Company. So I'm Austin, and I'm the taproom manager here at Tactical Brewing. Went to high school, started out of high school at 18, jumped into the Marine Corps as a rifleman, which is the infantry. Went to Iraq in 09 and Afghanistan in 2010 and 11. Definitely, you grow up quick, got out, they paid for my college, went to UCF, go Knights. Here we are, now I make beer and hang out with awesome people. I'd been doing like a home brewing circuit kind of thing for a while and was part of an organization in, in the area. And then I met Doug through that organization. He used to come out to some of the meetings from time to time and uh, we try some stuff I was making and I try some stuff he was making and give feedback and all that kind of thing. So over time he started talking to me about this project he was working on. And um, since I had kind of had a little bit of a background in certain facets of the industry beforehand, um, he kind of wanted to just pick my brain and see what might work, what might not. So originally I was sitting down to just kind of like look over the business plan um, and just kind of try to shoot holes in it and see where, where it could be a little bit more efficient or maybe something that could be tailored up a little bit more. Best way I could say working for Chris and Doug is interesting. Very interesting. Very Two different people. Um, let's say it's interesting. I feel very close to our staff. Uh, for example, we just went to Halloween Horror Nights on Wednesday and did our team building event and, you know, got scared and <laughs> had a few beers. I think the most unique thing about Tactical Brewing is the fact that we have so many different walks of life coming in and we can appeal to you know, a very wide array of audiences. We have a big veteran first responder community here that maybe that niche hasn't been tapped into, no pun intended. I think we have something special here. And at any given time, you can look around and you'll see like, oh, that's Orlando Police Department. That's uh, some guys that I haven't seen in like eight years that we deployed with. And it's, it's crazy. It's, it's a nice little community. People get over here and they get to get some good networking done with the individuals that live in Baldwin Park. and. It's awesome, it's like a family. So when I was in the military, I uh, got huge into craft beer, right? Drinking it. When I started going to college, I dabbled in brewing it. And then I actually went over and got my MBA at UCF and I got to meet a lot of people in different walks of life and they helped me kind of build this business plan. And I'm like, wow, this is actually sustainable. We can do this. Doug and I really sit down and try to hone the idea of a beer in. And then I kind of take that ball and try to roll with it as far as, you know, how can we make that final product possible using a whole array of different ingredients or fermentation processes and all these different kind of things. Every time we put a beer out, we're it's not done. Like we're gonna keep trying to hone it in. Even if it, it goes extremely well with everyone, we're still gonna try to fine tune it to make it better because it's always possible. Being in the military definitely prepared me for this, I mean, little things that I would think would normally stress me out, I just think like, well, I'm not sleeping in a fighting hole tonight, and I have a shower and a warm bed to go home to, so could be a lot worse. No, I, th I think it definitely made a difference, so I don't stress about these little minute details, just keep pushing on and be the best business owner that I can. The biggest point for me when it all became real and reality was like the first time we did a beer festival and we had the brand on the tent and we were pouring beers, get feedback and I was losing my mind because I had no idea how it was going to go and what could go wrong. And then just watching everybody geek out and watching a line that like, uh, like I don't know, 20, 30 yards long and just seeing everything blow out in two hours. I was like, holy, holy shit, I think we're actually onto something with us. So, um, so it was really cool. I think that was the moment where I, where I started seeing the, the wheels in motion. I'll be honest, I had no idea that it was gonna get this big this quickly. I, I thought we would, I thought in a short period of time we would start to, you know, bring more beer out, we would expand the hours a little bit, come, you know, continue to move forward, but every day it's more people. And the same concept as before, I, we only have five people that work here in total. How on earth can it continue to get busier, continue to be this way? Oh, the slow season's coming, maybe it's gonna slow down. Oh, something's gonna happen to where it's, oh, it's raining outside. Maybe then more people come. I'll walk down the street. There's no one out here. There's nobody around. There's no possibility that anything, anybody could be here and we're still full. We're not, we're not blind to the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, we are a tap room and maybe some people come in just to grab a beer and, and move on. You know, we're not trying to bore them with technique and process and all that stuff if they don't want to hear it. But 
the person that comes in who's really curious and is trying to find out and learn more about the product or, or our culture or you know maybe even how to brew certain things like I want them to get as much as they possibly can to where they leave feeling as though they've got more than just you know 12 or 16 ounces of something in their belly. Ask a question about something. Know why you want to order a beer or ask a random question of anybody that works here. So for those thinking of coming out to Taco Brewing, um, just want to kind of throw out there, we, we've got a really great group of people. Our, our team here is second to none. We're very fortunate to have people from all walks of life who, who are very passionate about what they do. Um, they're never complacent. Um, they're always looking for somehow to better us, better ourselves, and better something for the guest. Obviously, I hope you like the beer. I put a lot of time and effort into it. We, we still have a long ways to go, but I will say that I hope when people come in here, they can see that we put our heart and soul into this place. We built it. We make the best beer that we possibly can. Uh, and I hope people enjoy it, like quality above all. And then on an ethical standpoint, uh, for, for me, when I got out of the military, that was probably my hardest time. Uh, coping with, you go to war with these people, and then after four years, you possibly never seen them again. Then you go home and there's just kind of a void. You don't really connect with maybe people that you grew up with. For example, I've had a lot of the guys that I was in with that I haven't seen in like eight years, but I hope something like this can get people together and kind of help them as they transition back into civilian lifestyle because it is difficult. Like I said, big, big passion project here is just the networking that, that goes behind it. And that's not even us, we, we let everyone do their own thing. We just provide the beer and show our support. The quality of the beer, the home for veterans and first responders too. And people that love beer. Like, you see so many different walks of life in here and it's, it's a good time, I love this place.